Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's late night happy hour here on ESPN Los Angeles. Brian Kamenetsky, Andy Kamenetsky, uh, to be joined momentarily, not by uh, this Michael Thompson, Andy, but by the real one. Uh, in fact, I think he might be joining us very soon. Yes, it seems that he is about, He's about to, ent to enter the oh, room. There he is, the man himself. I think I hear him. I hear him. He's not there frozen. He is. There he is. Michael Thompson. Can you hear us, Michael? Oh, he's changing his glasses. <laughs> it's like Mr. Rogers, but with the, the shoes. I think he can hear us. I can hear, I can him. hear him. Oh, we're a little staticky. A little staticky? Um... Hmm. Man, man himself. Is it getting any better, Michael? I hear him. I hear him. He's not there, he is. there he is. He's what? listening to us, or one of us is listening to us. Sorry, so, I, I had to uh, readjust that volume. There he is. Now, Michael, Michael, can you hear us now better? Okay, but can you hear him, Andy? I cannot hear him. I'm going to leave and come back in. Okay. Um, I can't hear him either. Hold on one second, Michael. We are experiencing technical problems, so don't go anywhere, all right? Andy's going to come back, and then I might have to come back, and we're going to make this work. It's been weird the last few days. All right, one, two, three. Andy, can you hear Michael? Uh, talk, Michael. Oh, now Michael's frozen. What? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, that's good. Uh-oh. No, we might mean Michael. Feel, I feel like I think Michael froze. Oh man, it it is like where someone just pointed out, and uh, Bergman actually just pointed out uh, on the Periscope. This is like every Zoom ever, and it feels very much like a Zoom because no offense to Michael, but we added an old person. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just really texted Michael to disconnect and join back in. There's a very good chance. I think that might we may be have lost of, him for that good. Michael that might have been the end of Michael's appearance. You know what I realized too, and I, I I'll apologize to uh, to Michael about this if and when he comes back. But we did not have the foresight to have Michael's entrance music timed up for no, when he uh, yeah, showed up. Yeah, it was that's a lot. That's a lot to it do. It is a lot. It's but, a but lot. We should... Product, from a production standpoint, it's a lot. It is a lot. I'm just saying. I wish we'd either had. I wish we'd had the foresight. To have come up with that, to eventually realize we can't do it. No, I thought least... about. It. I, no, I totally thought about it this afternoon, um, and yeah. So we'll see if Michael joins back. That might have been the entire appearance from Michael Thompson. Um, <laughs> it I, really I, might have been. It really could have been the entire thing, which uh, I hope is not the case because, we, frankly, we prepared a lot for oh, this show. Okay, here it comes. I hope it works this time. I hope it works because I, I really we want it to work, Michael. <laughs> We I'm hearing Michael. You. I hear you. Can you hear us? Uh huh. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> You're sideways. There we go. We <laughs> the great thing about this is we ran a test. We did a test. You, Michael, and I did a test on Friday, um, and it worked beautifully. Can you hear us, Michael? That's not promising. I can, I can hear him. I can see you guys. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? I can hear you, but you're kind of static. Hmm. He can hear us, but it's kind of well, static. Well, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can make this work. It's like you guys are on the other side of the moon or something. Wait, where, well, I mean, it's yeah, apropos, I'll, Michael. I'll, here, I'll try leaving this time, and we'll see what happens. Although I'm it's worried apropos. if I leave. No, if I'm worried if you leave, apart. the whole thing falls apart. Don't do that. Um, um, no, Jake, no Jake Corrales in this stuff. No. <laughs> this is the magic. This is the magic, Michael, of uh, of entertainment in the quarantine era. You know, we all have to make do. I wonder, Voice is off. We're just too soft. Can you turn up your volume? No, your volume's fine. Just that your your voices are crackling in and out. 
Okay, oh, okay. well, I, you sound you sound just there good to us, but I, I can see you're already getting infuriated by this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get it. I understand. Um, so can you, can you hear us well enough to have a conversation? No, because your, your voices keep going in and out. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder... How should we... Let me try <laughs> So what... Someone on the Periscope wants to know, are you using a flip phone, Michael? <laughs> what, what are you using right now? Are you using a phone or using a laptop? Ooh, nice kitchen, Michael. It's an excellent kitchen. He's using okay. his phone, which is what we used on, on our test. Right. Okay. Um, could headphones potentially help? Yeah, the sound is just bad, boys. Yeah. This is, is our never-ending quest to get Michael Thompson onto this show. Should, should we show Mike? Yeah, the other day, we can sign, but now it's like, uh, I can't, uh, you, you guys are like going, every other hmm. word is coming in. Should hmm. we show, I wonder if we should show Michael the video now, just to make sure he sees the video now. Because we, we had, Michael, we planned a lot for you, and we actually have a video that we found in a YouTube Deep dive. This was actually remember the the piece that Brian and I did for the athletic, where we wanted you to participate and you couldn't because you were moving. But uh, there were all these different uh, Laker announcers, past and present, talking about Chick Hearn calls and like get, giving their opinion on him. We we wanted to play for you the one that we were going to have you uh, analyze and reflect on. Let's see if we can do this. Now the shot that Michael Thompson made at the other end just totally unbelievable. If you're teaching kids how to shoot a basketball, please don't teach them this. Also, teach them how to be under control. He jumps straight up and comes straight back down. Michael floated a little bit. Now the ball to Cooper. Down the middle to Michael Thompson. Turn around, jump from 12. Is good. Right now, the Lakers could be King Kong on the ladder and all his playmates. They're throwing everything in. 91 to 71. Hornet has got it. And a knee foul is called. Ticky tack knee foul on Michael Thompson. <laughs> this guy dribble driving brings it over to Thompson. His twenty foot jumper. That's He's made every kind of a shot again. Uh, Bounce the ball on the floor and put it up and in. Would that count? You ask. Yes, it would. Preseason. <laughs> now the ball to Kareem. Kareem tries to get down the middle. What's he gonna do? Oh, makes a pass underneath. Michael Thompson's got it. Michael Thompson scores it. Good pass by Kareem. <laughs> a little <laughs> nod there. Yeah, good play, Michael. He didn't at first. Ninety-nine seventy-nine. Performance. Cooper lost it temporarily to Davis. Now takes it into Michael Thompson. Six in the clock. He's in the air. Ten footer. That's good. Wow. What a shooting spree he's on. In this quarter, he's made five out of six shots. The Lakers have only missed two shots in the entire quarter. Doesn't have him. Final scoring in tonight's basketball game for the Los Angeles Lakers. James Worthy with 25. Byron Scott, 19. Magic Johnson, 18. Michael Thompson, 15. Kareem and, and Michael Cooper both with nine. A.C. Green with eight. And Kurt Rambis with four. For the Phoenix Suns, Walter Davis with 21, Larry Nance with 20, Armand Gilliam 16, Jeff Hornacek with 9, Jay Humphreys and James Bailey both with 8, James Edwards with 7, Johnson 5, and Adams with 2. Well, why did you say it so funny when you said Thompson 15? <laughs> well, I didn't say it funny, <laughs> but there were a couple of his uh, points that I'm going to talk to him about because uh, I, they don't go into my shooting repertoire. I don't think they go into anybody's shooting repertoire. <laughs> So Chick was not very nice to you there, Michael. Yeah, I can't hear anything. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> no. oh my, Michael, you were making some shots that uh, that they couldn't believe you were pulling off, um, and they they said your form was all jacked. Uh, that, like, it wasn't anything textbook, but you couldn't help but fill it up. I just can't hear it. Okay. All right. Well, all right. We, we we appreciate you trying. I feel like we should at least have have Michael with us in yeah. spirit, if nothing else. Just, just text him and let him know we understand, but we appreciate him trying. Oh, it was worth a try. I mean, I, I feel like Michael Thompson is becoming our white whale, Andy, on the on the on he really the, is. happy hour where we just can't make it work with Michael. <laughs> Virtue so, says. On the periscope, he's going to have to speak into the flip phone. <laughs> yeah, I, I, 
I gotta apologize, guys. I just it's not your fault, Michael. No good audio. It's not your fault, Michael. We feel terrible, man. We feel bad. You know, I feel bad because I want to. I want to come on here and talk about Mahomes and Jackson. And Wait, Jackson. that was one. It's on our list. Of, it's on our list, Michael. This is all on the list. Like, like Jericho, you made the list. If you guys are hearing me, yes. Yeah. You guys hear me. Yeah, I, you guys are like Andy. You're coming like every other word's coming in, and Brian's all cackly. Weird. So <sighs> I guess we'll try it another time. As the Jewish mother would tell you, talks among yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we miss you, Michael. <laughs> we miss you a lot. We'll try Hold again on. another time. All right. That was sad. That was very disappointing. Oh. Well, I mean, we had him for a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. What a bummer of a way to start a week. We had Michael Thompson. Now he's gone. I mean, Bergman was watching. He could call in, but it's not the same. Yeah, Ber- Bergman, if you're still watching, you can come on. You want to be a late, uh, late minute sub? Come on, be a, be a good assistant programming director. Like, this is what a good assistant programming director would do. They'd step up. Oh. So, Bergman, if you, if you want to come on, let us know. Yeah, Michael, been... I, is, I, 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 I'll send him the email. I feel really bad for Michael. I'm texting him right now. Uh, we can, yeah, it worked so well the first time. It's, uh, man, we just, Michael, for some reason has been elusive. Like, I mean, and we've got him. I I would, I would leave the room myself, but I'm afraid what would happen to the broadcast. I, I'm, I'm concerned. You know what we need to do is we need to run a test run and have you drop off just so we can see what happens. What happens. Yeah. That's probably smart. Like, you know, do like a test run at, you know, one in the morning when nobody's watching or something. I blame Carlo. I wonder if Carlo's still watching. Well, it probably Carlo. is Carlo's fault. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely Carlo's fault. But uh, anyway, Bergman, if you're watching, if you're still watching, uh, you are more than welcome to come on right now. Again, it's what a uh, it's what a good assistant PD would be doing right now. You know, not one that's just sitting back on, on their laurels. Well, he did have to so. produce five hours today because the, you know, the, uh, the, the other guy was on. So it's not just what yeah. he was doing with, with Sedano. Look, um, I, I don't need... Look. Oops. Now Andy's gone. Well, I lost everybody. Um, well, so um, Andy needs to come back at some point too. I don't know what happened to anyone. So... Uh, it is a, a very, very difficult late night happy hour so far. The big news of the day, as I take the show over myself, Dwight Howard is going to play for the Lakers. Uh, he's he made the, uh, he is going to, uh, to come down to the Orlando bubble. This is actually a huge deal for the Lakers. Um, I'll text Andy, let him know that he's gone. Um... But anyway, I have no idea what's going on here. So Andy's going to try to rejoin. But anyway, Dwight Howard's going to play for the Lakers. It's a good deal for the Lakers. Um, They can get by without Avery Bradley. I think that's something that um, they they have enough stuff. Alex Caruso, Contavious Caldwell-Pope. They were 17-3 when Contavious Caldwell-Pope started. these games in the in the twenty or so that that Avery Bradley missed, and so um, losing KCP as we lost Andy and now bring him back. Losing, I was talking about Dwight Howard. Kicked me, huh? it kicked me out of the room. I don't know what happened. It just there. It, just, it just kicked me out. Yeah, I was, I was in the middle. I was stuff. in the middle of the. Uh, I was in the middle of a Bergman rant, and then it just kicked me out. Oh, we'll go back on it. I, well, I was just saying, like, you know, you, you had said that Bergman produced, like, five shows today and, like, you know, no, hours two shows of radio. For, two shows for five hours. Right. So five hours of radio. And, you know, because of that, he would be too tired, despite, you know, his responsibilities as assistant programming director. This feels like the type of thing he should step in for. I said, look, Scott Kaplan, who, you know, show he produced today, and that is his name, correct? Scott Kaplan? I, I, 
it's, it's, um, it sounds about right. Yes. Seems like a great guy. Like, yeah. I listened to some of the show today. I, I enjoyed it. Seemed like a good dude. But I'm sorry. Bergman shouldn't be getting Scott Kaplan's back before he should be getting ours back. No, that's true. Saying, like, I'm not he, he should you. get our back first. I'm not sure he knows how to get in the room. I just sent him a link. Um, the, right. So there's two stories, Andy, today we can talk about. We can talk. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, you still got still cap. We're still trying, Michael. Can you hear us now, Michael? Is that okay, better? I just can't figure out what the problem is. No, I can't. Oh, I think I might know what it is. What is it, Andy? I think it's the Wi-Fi in Orange County. Because remember, Travis struggled. I don't know. I think that's what it is. No, I don't think so. I just... I, I, I hear the background assistance. Right. I like the IT department. Well, at least we can... Well, I don't know if we can show him his picture. You could show him his picture. He'd, I mean, he doesn't need the sound for, to enjoy that picture. There's yeah, Michael. Like There's Michael with Michael. We can do that. We can do Michael with Michael. We can do... <laughs> Michael with Byron and Michael. <laughs> That's about all we have for tricks, though, Michael. I don't know. I, I, I wish I could tell you what's going on. Sound a lot clearer now. Do we? Yeah, I can start. Oh, good. Static, but at least I can hear what you're saying. Okay, right. good. We'll make this work. What? Let's yeah. give it a go then. Let's try. All right, well, let's let's get something out. Let, you know what, Michael? We should celebrate this. We should celebrate you being able to hear us. And you know what is a great way to celebrate? Alcohol from vsliquor.com. Nothing says, alcohol, says happy hour more than vsliquor.com. The most convenient way to get your alcohol delivered to your door. Anything you want, all right there. One click on its way. And right now, Michael, you type in forks for your first order, you get 15% off vsliquor.com all right 450 million dollars for pat mahomes what does that mean lamar jackson is worth to you yeah, still staticky uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh don't let him <laughs> ah, no, run away, Julie, run away. <laughs> this is mean. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part. <laughs> oh my God. This is a look at this is a look at what this poor woman goes through every day. Every night. Oh my oh my lord. Poor Julie. <laughs> it's okay. If it doesn't work, do not, don't get divorced no, over please, this. Not, I mean, please don't please get leave trouble. Julie out of this. This yeah. poor woman does enough for you, Michael. Leave her out of this. I can't decide if this is like the best show we've ever done or the worst <laughs> show we've ever done. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's simultaneously the most fascinating and completely watchable. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. It is live, Michael. It is absolutely oh, yeah. <laughs> live. <laughs> this is not pre -brand. This is not. This is not taped before a studio audience. <laughs> I feel like this is oddly compelling to people who are watching. Uh, some people on the Periscope seem to be enjoying it. Uh, as Jay Watson 0984 said, God bless Mrs. Thompson. And which I hard to argue against. Do what they say. <laughs> he is. Tell Julie it's I don't think it's your I don't think you're the you're the problem, Michael. Well, I'm not, uh... There's the link. Okay. 
This is amazing. This is. Oh, and then you just hit front camera. Wait, is it that difficult? Wait, what's it say? Right, just get that phone away from me. I've never done this before. <laughs> 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 This is this is crazy. Yeah, I, uh, trying to put it on Julie's laptop, but it's got all like Switcher Studio, log into your Switcher Studio you account. Like join room, maybe? Oh yeah, just like join it. room. Come on, you guys. Just join room. Yes, join yeah, room. Join room. I just gotta like sign up to get on this thing. No, you should. All you have to do is uh, click that link. And then you put in your name, and you might have to disconnect from your phone, but yeah. that's okay. Michael, you have the phone if you know. <laughs> I feel like we need to send Julia a fruit basket. <laughs> we need to order something from vsliquor.com. I think we. Sh I think we really should. She didn't sign up for this. Bergman, no, you cannot go back to bed. <laughs> he needs an assistant. <laughs> Someone just said go quad box. We cannot go quad box right oh, now. Oh, we can. I, I, we got we to get Michael on before we go quad box. He's on. I just think this is this is fascinating. <laughs> and we've never really had a chance to meet Julie either, and I don't think this is the way we should no, do it. No, I don't. I'm not sure I've ever met Julie. I don't. I don't even think I've ever met Julie in passing. I, I yeah. I really don't like that. This this doesn't feel like the right circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel terrible that this is our this is her introduction to us. I don't want her to remember us like this. This isn't what I want. Well, yes, everyone should take shots of tequila. Yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just log in? With what? I don't know. What's your studio? If you don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't get in trouble michael now she's not gonna like us right like you're gonna be dragging us down into right this. she we're forever gonna be the people that she associates with this terrible thing that made her have to do this show and now yeah. she's not gonna like us anymore how, how to, virtue on the periscope how to fix the internet Flip phone, enter <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I am totally hypnotized by what we're seeing right now. <laughs> this is the closest we've ever come to like performance art. This, this, is, really, this is really this is, like this. Is, this is really abstract what we're doing right now. <laughs> Yet, <laughs> judging this is this is very very Andy Kaufman esque right now. I mean, Michael, you've probably watched Taxi. <laughs> Suzanne, he's like Mr. Roper looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's just smiling. <laughs> you know what? We could we could eventually just talk and just have Michael stand there smiling. My, we should just turn the floor over to Michael and let him speak. That's true, Michael. People can hear you. Uh, all good. It's a stupid house. No, just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I've never done such a. Yeah, that, that, 
audio just didn't get any better, boys, from from coming from your end of me. It's not. It's your dumb fault. Do you have anything that you just want to say before we let you? Yeah, the, floor, the floor is yours, Michael. <laughs> And then you hit front camera and all. And then. Oh, Michael, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's great about it is like the audience is growing. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is getting. The audience, the audience continues to grow. <laughs> like it's possible we're going viral <laughs> this might be our most populated this could show. Be, this could be it audio's not coming in clear not just me you see the idea of our play doing this thing? What's going to talk about tonight? <laughs> so, Michael, can you describe to us what? you're trying to do right now, if you can hear me. Which I don't think you can. Bergman says you should ask Clay for help. That's true. He's not in the bubble. That's right. He, he could help right now. Bergman also says this show is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he told me this is unbelievable what we're doing right now. We should... I'm wondering if this would translate to our Saturday show. <laughs> I don't know. I, this is this is unbelievable, Michael. We no, do he, appreciate the effort that you and your wife. We are really going do, through. and I we feel do. terrible. I, we, feel, we feel awful. I feel horrible. I feel even more horrible that I can't stop watching. <laughs> that I think it's amazing. Yeah. Computer, yeah, Michael, at some point, if you need to call quits, I mean, my God, I, I feel terrible Wait, for you. Hold on, Angela. something just happened. Wait. Oh, Michael left. I think that's what happened. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that was amazing. <laughs> that really was. I don't know if he's going to come back, but he could, in theory. He could come back. No, he, um, he, look, he, the floor is welcome. <laughs> oh, God. I feel terrible. I feel, I feel like, you know, we've caused conflict inside the Thompson family. Yeah, um, I know. I, I feel like we've created a rift. I feel like all of this, and I, I, I also feel really amazing. Like, I'm telling you, the viewership just went nuts. Yeah, um, that's part I, of what I feel terrible about, is that the more and more Michael and his wife keep struggling to make this happen, and the more frustrated I can tell they, and in particular Julie, are getting, the more the audience grows. Like, the more they struggle, the better it is for us. So I'm really torn, because we love Michael. So we don't want to make Michael go through this, and we certainly don't want to make Julie. And the people love him. Michael. Oh, right, my goodness. Right. And we certainly don't want to make Julie, who has never met us before, and I guarantee now never wants to meet us. We don't make her go through this. But on the other hand, the numbers are going up. Yeah, like they, are, they are going through the roof right now. Like <laughs> David, uh, I mean, this is, it, it is it is spectacular television. I guess yes, whatever, David this, Velasco, whatever this is, David Velasco on the Periscope says you two should be ashamed, and he's right. But on the other hand, well, what's look, David, happen? David Velasco, you were watching. <laughs> well, no, but it, here's the thing: we should be ashamed. But what's another half hour of shame? Like, right, like as point, long right. as we're going point, to be ashamed, that's true. Right. We, I, I, like, I, I do feel shame over this, 
but I want to get the maximum payoff for my shame. Yeah. Like if I'm going to feel this. If we're going to be bad people, we might as well be bad people with good ratings. <laughs> okay, now this is interesting. Uh, Monty 10 on the Periscope is predicting that Michael will come back. Do you think he's going to come back or do you think he's done? I think he's done. I think but he's done. But it's too. not impossible. Um, it is absolutely not impossible. Like, I'm actually, we, I'm going to put out a poll. Um, was this the best show or the worst show? Was that? <laughs> Best, worst, or yes? We've done on the late night happy hour. This really is performance art tonight. Yo, this, I feel this terrible. Was unbel- and look, I mean, I, I feel like an hour of Michael Thompson on, you know, ha- Michael's been under quarantine. Like, he hasn't had a chance to really right. express himself. Like, this, no, was, I mean, this was like a big night. Right, and, and Michael especially, too. Like, Michael is built for this format because you know people who are familiar with this show and the and the viewership keeps rising and we're really grateful for that we're really excited by that but everybody knows it's a it's a free-flowing show we don't stay on one topic for too long we kind of bounce all over the place we let the it's show perfect take, for michael that's my point like because if you work with michael you know that he is impossible to keep on forget one topic he's impossible to keep on the topic that like management has asked us to talk about like we'll get notes from like management like hey you need to be talking about blank on a show with michael it's like i don't know that's not how it works you don't do it what am i supposed to do no michael thompson when you host a show with michael thompson you are just a passenger like you are yes michael takes you on a journey yes Um, and we michael and like michael who is and we love it we're built for that wait bergman joining us i think it's bergman Yes! (laughs) Yes! <laughs> who is very? Who is not Michael Thompson, but he is Greg Bergman. Can I am not us? Michael. Yeah, I can hear you guys fine, and I don't feel like I can top what you guys just can you, did. Can you, get Michael, can you get Michael to your house? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my closet, so I don't think that I smashed my This is the solution Wait, to the problem. Your closet? Nice closet. Well, that, no, that's this your is what, closet. Oh, this is what Brian calls my little corner of the room. Right? My can't closet. you see the? Can't you see the bodies stacked in back, Andy? <laughs> from, <laughs> from the old days of the Dodger, the Dodger broadcast. I call them hats, but yeah, right. either way works. But I, I don't feel hats. like I'm, yeah. we all have <laughs> names like for him, right. Greg. I feel like it's wrong for me to be on after was what that Michael not, Thompson just did. Was that not? I know. First of all, I don't understand. Now I do think it was actually something going on on Michael's end, and not not us. But no, like, I'm telling you, I it was my, these. It was these. He didn't have. He didn't have his headset in. I don't know. I, I'm, but he, I'm telling you, I think it might be the Orange County Wi-Fi because remember, Travis struggled to stay on with us. So I uh, wonder if it's just something in the area. I don't know what it was, but it was fantastic. Was watch. that not the most like oddly <laughs> compelling thing that you've seen? I'm like, I was um, people, and I'm telling you, Greg, people like the viewership was rising the entire time that he was on, like for that 25 minutes where basically no one was talking, and it was just Michael making faces and <laughs> trying to get online. It was I, I kept watching. It kept going up and up and up. It was like the numbers just kept rising as he kept just staring at the screen for so long. So far, uh, was that it, the best thing or the worst thing we've done? I, I actually phrased it. Best thing or worst thing? Uh, I should have phrased that differently. But right now, yes, best thing, 80%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by far. It was pole. easily the easiest, the best thing. And by the way, when Julie hit him and then he just looked at the camera and smiled, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was such a great moment. It's like someone, I hope, screenshotted that because it was amazing. Well, we'll go back. Um, oh. That'll be Carlo's job, I think, tomorrow. I, I feel the, the hard part, I mean, you've probably met Julie. We haven't. Like, that was our introduction to Julie. I've never met Julie before. That was the closest that I've gotten to seeing Julie in real life. So wow. no, I'm with it, you guys. Like she hates us now. There's no question. Oh, like yeah. Julie hates us, and I don't blame her. Yeah, I don't blame her at all. No, not at all. Because it's 10:30 at night, and she's trying to fix his, his phone, well, trying and to fix then, his computer. And Michael keeps putting her on after she keeps saying, <laughs> "Don't do that." Like uh, so, she was putting her hands up in front of the camera. We didn't ask. We didn't want that. <laughs> and then he looks at us and says, "Is that li- is this um, live?" Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's a test. This is all a test. Yeah, um, I, 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 so have to re, I have to re, I have to rewrite uh, that tweet. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Um, <laughs> are you tired? I was 
I was ready to go to sleep, and then I was like, "Oh, I gotta hear what the, what the Cam brothers are gonna talk about about magic tweets." And Michael, I was gonna be like, gonna be "Michael's on. coming on, like, fantastic." Is there anybody? Is there anybody at the station who's better suited to this format than Michael Thompson? Oh no, he is the an greatest. hour just to just go. Oh, he can say especially he quarantined. Wants. Yeah. Oh please, he's been sitting at home. Julie probably wanted him to be talking as much as possible. Yes. Oh, I, I'm her. sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Julie thought this was great in the beginning. Like, that's probably why she's even more angry at us, is we ruined what she had originally thought was going to be a great time for her. She's like, like an gonna, hour away from Michael. I'm going to watch whatever I feel like watching, and he's not going to take over the TV. I can take, oh. a, I can take a stroll, do whatever I want. I don't have to hear about Green Acres, like, whatever. <laughs> like, like, I just get a little time away. And, I've and seen Mike, too much Sanford and Son. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were going to bring up uh, Magic's tweets. That was that was on the list of things to talk about. It, it it turns out, Greg, and I know you're as like crushed about this as I am, as Brian is. Magic Johnson, like the most unintentionally brilliant tweeter in the history of tweets, doesn't write his own tweets. His know, like Captain Obvious tweets are ghost tweeted for him. At first, I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. I, at least it, was, it wasn't actually him that was doing it. But then I thought, wait, that's all this hours and hours of enjoyment from reading magic tweets is all gone. We don't get it anymore. Well, here's the and thing. He trolled us all by sending out another tweet like five minutes after that. that whole silver and then you don't him. even know. And then you don't even know if it was him or not. Right. So now it's just not the same. Now you think it's somebody else ghost tweeting him and. I don't feel as, as satisfied as I used to. And well, here's the thing. Like, and I don't, and again, the, the goal here is not to make it political, but like, we know that sometimes the president, for example, is not sending out every tweet. Like, there's a person there sometimes who said, and you can tell the difference between the president's tweets and the, the, like the intern <laughs> or whoever's like, you know, the, the press secretary. I can't tell the difference between magic tweets and fake magic tweets. And so... On the one hand, it's kind of okay, but on the other hand, it's even worse because I don't know, like, I, wait a minute, which, which one is it? I mean, I, all of us can fake a magic tweet. If they're not hard. No. <laughs> no but, Congratulations but to X on signing <laughs> X contract. But, was it, but here's the Exclamation thing. point. <laughs> were any of them ever, were any of them ever magics? Oh my god. So. Oh no. That's what I'm saying. I wish that, you hadn't have said that. You just that broke did, all the glass. Now I are you, oh. are you kidding? That didn't pop in your head? No. No. I still believe that some of it was partly magic. And There's now a guy. Yeah, there was a guy okay. who like took over the Curious George franchise after the other guy kind of you can tell the difference a little bit, but the old guy still wrote the Curious no, George books. I, I fear the whole damn thing has been a lie. This whole damn thing has been a lie like what what other conclusion should i not be fearing you just hope that all the things in the past were all magic johnson just saying congratulations to clayton kershaw on his newest contract for this three-year contract or whoever it happens to be congratulations to patrick Mahomes. you assume that was him but right but, but, here, later but here's the thing though here's the thing if those were ever his if, if those began as magic's other than just sheer laziness, what possible reason would he need somebody else to do that? Like, if that was the tone Magic set, like, he didn't get too busy for it. So it makes me believe that he never was writing them in the first place. It was always just, you know, Magic's got a staff. He's a, he's a businessman with, you know, he's got all sorts of stuff going on. I don't think he ever, like, I don't even know if his phone has Twitter on it. As long as you don't tell me that Pal Gasol is not writing his own tweets... I think that we're going to be okay because there was, the, there was the fight between the two of them, right? Who could make the most <laughs> innocuous tweets? <laughs> and so and now, now it's just pow. And so it's a little disappointing. I, I tell I you what. I'm, I'm a little annoyed. The reformed, uh, the reformed uh, poll that we have out, was Michael's appearance the best thing or the worst thing we've ever done on the late night happy hour? Uh, your options are best, worst, and yes. Um, <laughs> so yes. far... Best is winning at eighty percent. Yes is tied with worst at ten percent. So, I t people couldn't look away. Um, no, you were going to pass. Least. Who's, your, who's your highest? Who's your highest scoring? You know, guest so far. Shea Cotton. Uh, no, actually, it's oh, still Paul or Byron. Or Byron. Wow, was, was it, it Shea Cotton? 
Shea Cotton. It's uh, our top three right now are Byron, Shea Cotton, and Paolo Ujetti from the uh, from the Ringer. Wow, I know. Interesting, but either, but this was going to destroy it. I don't. Paolo is Paolo is very handsome. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've met him. He is. He's a nice, very nice man. Um, but this 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 was going to start just keep going. If you just would have let him go for the entire hour, you guys didn't have to say a word. Oh, we you didn't. Had the highest numbers. Well, that was our hope. That was our hope. Is we were just going to let Michael rip every now and then. You know, let people know the show's sponsored by VSLiquor.com, and you know, fifteen yeah, percent off your first order if you type in sports. Like, you know, just pop that in every now and then. But we we're just mostly going to let Michael be Michael. It was so. I mean, I know you guys had this whole list. You were going to talk about Patrick Mahomes' gigantic deal. You were going to talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Here's one of the things we. It's, well, in, well, it's well, written. Well, it's in pencil, by the way. There actually is stuff written on it. All I had was a pencil, and it's yellow paper. You can't see it. There's words right. on that. Right, but the, the videos that you were sending of Chick Hearn were fantastic. Michael, how, Michael Thompson hitting shots. <laughs> just Chick, just how great was that? Him. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> we it actually should so probably good. play it one more time. You want to hear it again? Yeah, oh, absolutely. All right, hold on one second. Now that I know how to work the machine. We, we wanted to get Michael's reaction to this, and unfortunately, he couldn't hear any of it. So every, all of us can should be able to hear it, and you, they should still be able to hear us when we talk. So. <laughs> Don't also, teach him this. How to be under control. He jumped straight up and comes straight back down. Michael floated a little bit for the form. Now the ball to Cooper. Down the middle to Michael Thompson. Turn around. Jumper from 12. Is good. Right now. I love how he laughs. He's, laughing, he's laughing at him. He's laughing at Michael he's making shots. shots. I do like the part. The next one. Ticky tack knee foul on Michael Thompson. Ticky tack knee foul on Michael Thompson. Yeah, no talking. No talking. This is my favorite. Sends it over to Thompson. His 20 foot jumper. He's laughing at him. He's laughing. Put it up and in. Would that count? You ask. Yes, it would. Preseason. I like this one. This is the one where Michael kind of smiled when he saw it. What's he gonna do? Oh, makes a pass underneath. Michael Thompson's got it. Michael Thompson scores it. Yeah, he went. Yeah, he's got, he had a big old smile. So yeah, he liked that one. Michael liked that one. He didn't. It's like, yeah, I made that. Ninety-nine seventy-nine performance. <laughs> Cooper lost it temporarily to Davis. Now takes it into Michael Thompson. Six in the clock. He's in the air. Ten footer. That's good. Wow, what a shooting spree he's on. In this quarter, he's made five out of six shots. The Lakers have only missed two shots in the entire quarter. Doesn't have him. Final scoring in tonight's basketball game. This is great, too. Stay to the end. Worthy with 25. Byron Scott, 19. Magic Johnson, 18. Michael Thompson, 15. Kareem and, and <laughs> Again, Cooper both shock. Green with eight <laughs> Michael Thompson, 15. For the Phoenix he outscored Sun, Cap. With That's right. He did. He lapped Cap. 16. Jeff Hornacek with nine. Jay Humphreys and James Bay both with eight. I know. James Edwards with seven. Armin Gilliam. Solid. Larry Nance Jr.'s pops. Hey, yeah. yeah. it's not Cleveland either. Said, Thompson 15. <laughs> well, I didn't say it funny, but there were a couple of his uh, points that I'm going to talk to him about because uh, uh, they don't go into my shooting repertoire. I don't think they go into anybody's shooting repertoire. <laughs> I mean, just merciless. Oh, God, By so the way, the, the production is the best. The production value there. Um, yeah, I mean, like we were going to get his reaction to it. Like we had all we had plans. And I don't know if he can do this again because Julie probably won't let him in with a good cause. Um, and then you end up with me instead, and it just feels like a gigantic letdown. I'm oh, not... no, and, and the numbers reflect that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'll give you yeah. this, though. At least, at least I've been on more times than Steve Mason. So at That's that point, true. Oh. Yeah. hey. Oh, Technically oh, speaking, you are our second, <laughs> our second repeat uh, guest. Who was the first? We had Lions on to celebrate the... Because you know this, Greg, having worked in entertainment. Anytime you have a 53rd show... Eh, anytime you have a 53rd show, you invite the first guy back on. You know, quote fingers. Entertainment. Trying to aim right. it. Um, so we had Lions on. Because um, he was our first He was our first guest. guest. Oh, gosh. So just talking about... Are you talking about Mellow Hoodie? Or Hoodie Mellow the entire time? Mellow well, did come up, yes. It was the yes. first day that J.R. Smith was re-signed. And so, oh. it was, so he, you know, we did a lot... We actually played a game of J.R. Smith trivia. Um, and Andy beat him. J.R. Smith Nick's trivia. Yes. Andy beat him. Look at I you, did. Andy. Nice. I did done. beat him. It was. It, it, it was a lot of it was... It, not only was it J.R. Smith trivia, it was J.R. Smith Nick's trivia. Yeah, the and whole I thing was that. Nick's based. He should be ashamed of himself. He is I Mr. Nick at this point. 
I think he was. Are you, are you excited about JR joining the squad? I, I, look, I, I, why not? He's played with LeBron. He's going to sit at the end of the bench. He'll come in every once in a while and hit a couple threes. I think it'll work out just fine. I am so here for a rotation spot battle between JR and Dion. I'm oh, so God. here. Like, they, like if, so, if the – I don't know how much, like, Spectrum is sending – down to the bubble because, you know, I know they're going to be doing a lot of stuff remotely. They're trying to keep the bubble as, you know, uh, as clean as possible, you know, trying to prevent as few people going in and out. Somebody needs to be filming these practices between JR and Dion because, like, be, that's a show. Yeah, it's going to be nonstop, just the two of them talking and talking the entire time, taking ridiculous shots from like, <laughs> 35, 40 feet. One on one leg and like behind their back or something. It's gonna be just they, you know they. It, Frank v- Vogel's and, gonna Vengel, Vogel's gonna give us at least one of those eight warm up games where he just lets that happen, right? Oh, of course. If he's gonna let Dwight Howard and Javale McGee shoot threes every once in a while, then he's absolutely gonna let that happen every once. In a while. You know, very, very quietly. You know, compared to last year, like there was so much made out of last year that the Lakers had the mean team with you know like Stevenson and Michael Beasley and Javale and. Rondo, like very quietly, they've reformed a new meme team. You know, you've got JR now, you've got Dion. I think, you know, every now and then a Morai can be uh, good for a meme. Oh, yeah. Still got Rondo, you've still got JaVale. Like, look, they very quietly reassembled, Greg. Look, I love Alex Caruso, but he is an absolute meme king. Yes. It's, it's, so, no yes. matter what, he belongs in every single meme, period. So, yeah, that's he's definitely a part of the meme team. And then. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you guys, best and yes are just dominating this poll. <laughs> <laughs> really, well, it it really, you can't bet no. You can't put no in It definitely case. wasn't the, no. I mean, surely, you know, it's not, God, I'm so disappointed. I'm just, that's really what it is, Greg. It's not you. It's not disappointed in I you. I mean, I'm we just are, here. We appreciate you, you stepping up again. You got five hours to produce tomorrow again. Like I do. Yeah, you know, you look fresh. I'm just saying, but you know, I it's... was, I was literally in bed, about to go to sleep, and just wanted to watch you two with Michael Thompson. <laughs> that was it. That's look, all I wanted. Look, it's not that we don't appreciate it, Greg. It's just a massive letdown. Oh, like I, you have to, you I, have to understand. I, <laughs> like, I it, let it's... down myself by coming on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> You're not hurting my feelings. Now so, you know. Now you know how we feel. <laughs> People are like, oh, oh, I thought it was going to be Ramona. Uh, yeah. All right. Well. Oh, I mean, look. Someone even tweeted Lenny. Lenny and Carl tweeted. I said, for those of you tuning in and seeing Bergman, Greg, and thinking, man, I really miss Michael Thompson. So, like, you know, people are upset. Quarant- quarantine has really changed Michael. <laughs> right. I do not look like Michael, and he's, I feel so terrible that he's, he's not no, Michael, Michael, when he stays indoors for too long, really <laughs> lightens up. Yeah, exactly. I was being a little careful, you know. <laughs> but, like, you know what happened the other day, like, last week when I was in for uh, Ireland, when John was on vacation, it was like, I guess they had done the imaging for, like, for Ramona being in all week. So I didn't even get the, like, filling in for John. I got the filling in for Ramona. Oh, you it's like, come on. At least, at least give me a filling in hey, for the, gonna... like, the actual host of the show. Well, you're going to get a filling in for Sedano all of next week. That's so. right, but there you're you not going to say filling in for like like the day that... George that, Sedano? Right, well, no, but like the day like that I'm in for Ramona. Ramona's like not there and it's me and Clinton, which is Friday, by the way. Everybody tune in. Like you're not going to say like filling in for Ramona, filling in for George. It would be just like me filling in for George. <laughs> Actually, you should. <laughs> That's I what. That's much better. We don't usually have Chris Morales do our opens, but I may have. You might now just for that. Yeah, <laughs> filling no, in I, for yeah, filling in for Ramona, who was filling. Like you go through like seven filling in from Jay from Compton, <laughs> filling in for <laughs> you. You, 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 turn, in for ben you, you essentially right six yeah, degrees. You, of, you essentially yeah. You make it like a rotation. You know, like there's first string, second string, third string. Like you know, the replacement to the replacement. It's truly. It becomes truly next man up. At yeah. that point, at least you're one of those next men up. That's so right, both of you. I that's think true. that's a that's a positive thing, you know. So, exactly. So. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, with programming like this, Greg, it, you know, it's, <laughs> I think we're doing an excellent job. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so <laughs> I want, did you see? Uh, I, I know you you had uh, made reference to it earlier, Greg. Uh, Michael talking about uh, Patrick Mahomes and, and Lamar Jackson, and he was going on a rant. Uh, that Stephen A. was doubting Lamar Jackson. This is according to Michael. 
uh, <laughs> doubting Lamar Jackson's ability as a passer. But did you see the other thing he put out on Twitter today that I thought was very interesting with the most apropos news today? No, I missed There's, it. I usually have him on Twitter actually coming to my phone every time. Like an tweets. alert? It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I get an alert. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this, is, <laughs> this is an amazing <laughs> set of tweets from Michael. They're going to change the name of the NFL team in D.C. Here's my suggestion. Picture it. The Washington Snyders. Huh? Hey, come on. It worked. works in Cleveland. They named the team after Paul Brown. Think of it this way. If Snyder owned a plumbing business, plumbing spelled P-L-U-M-M-I-N-G business, he'd call oh, it Snyder it. Plumbing. So why not Snyder football team? That is the most Michael Thompson of tweets that there are, that could possibly be. I mean, the most amazing, the most amazing thing about that suggestion is that might be the one name that people find more offensive than the current name. Oh, wow. that would, like that would piss off more people than the name they currently have, which is a racial slur. Well, even 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 racists, Snyder's even ra- even racists in Washington won't like that name. <laughs> it's just the best. I, I so thought you were my- saying. I thought you were going to say that that was going to be the only thing that Dan Snyder would actually approve of besides the Redskins. Well, he, he might. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> like, be. If it's not my name, I'm out. Well, it is very, that would be very Daniel Snyder, but it would be amazing because that is the only name that I think what people would find more offensive oh, than the bad. current one. People would be hey. like, let's, just bring, let's bring him back the other name. We don't, we don't need this one. <laughs> what if he changed? What if he said, "Okay, fine, I won't do Redskins," and he changed it to the Indians? <laughs> <laughs> that would be very Snyder. That would be well, very Snyder esque as well. Like, uh, all right, right. it's different. I just I like the it. I like the press release. It is now okay. We are going to undergo a thorough review <laughs> of what? Like, <laughs> like the, what? Is, like, what have you been doing for the? Like, this has just come up in the last week. Like, the people have been talking about this for. Th- 40 years. I mean, you know? he's been saying over and over again that he doesn't want to change. Ever. He's like, I don't care Ever. what anybody says. I will. I refuse to change the name. Well, just, you have no sponsors anymore. So right. Maybe I just would have, I would have liked to have been in the room for the thorough review. <laughs> right. is, it, is it still, Bad go, name. Is it, is it still going on? It <laughs> I don't know. Hey, um, I, I've given up trying to figure out what things mean in the baseball season because, you know, 60 games... Yeah, and you know? like, and like, but like, how big is David Price? Not, I can't decide if that matters or not really because he he was going to be a four or five inning guy for the first thirty games of the season anyway, at the most. I mean, there's only sixty games, and most right. guys are only going to go that, four or five right. innings. So yeah, I mean, he's the third starter, but he was uh, he was going to be a pretty big piece. If there was any team that could handle losing their third starter, though, it was going to be the Dodgers. So I. I like, I'm disappointed by not having David Price just because last year he had a really high ERA, but his K per walks were super, super high. So I thought that he, in, a, in these short stints, if he could just if he's striking out a bunch of guys, he's, in these he's four, missing five bats, innings, Greg. They yep, call that he, missing bats. Exactly. So uh-huh. by not having him there, it it does hurt a little bit. Uh, I, can you blame him? I mean, I'm not going to tell him no. Don't be with your family or don't worry about your health. But the Dodgers have plenty of guys that can step up. Julio Urias is going to move up to the three spot. Alex Wood will move up to the f- up to the four, and then Dustin May or Tony Gonsolin or Ross Stripling. One of those three are going to take the five spot. And there's let, a very let me, good let me, go ahead, Andy. I was going to say, let me ask you some because I, we we talked with uh, Alden Gonzalez about this, and he did, he didn't know the answer yet, and it's still too early to entirely know. But it's pretty obvious that Mike Trout is debating, like heavily debating, the idea of not playing at all right and it's also very obvious like when you take into account the sour negotiations that led us up to this point and the way you hear players talking about this the way sean doolittle talked about this nobody in baseball is excited to do this at all but i think it also seems like nobody in baseball quite understands the point of doing this do you think the floodgates would open up at all if a guy of trout stature opted out yeah, I do. I think there's going to be a lot of guys that are going to start opting out. I think a lot. It, well, you'll still have a season because there's going to be enough guys that are going to want to still play. But I think some of the bigger name guys will probably start sitting out. Like, look, if Mike Trout's not going to play, I mean, it's not really a real season. There's already so many people that are sitting out anyway. But if he's sitting, I mean, it would make sense for him too because his wife just had his first kid. So 
it's kind of tough to go leave that and also deal with, you know, COVID at the same time. So, I, yeah, I do think that a bunch of other players are going to start sitting out if Mike Trout says, I'm out. And the infrastructure, that infrastructure thing is super embarrassing for, for MLB. It's like, I, like when, when a couple of players test positive in basketball, it's like it doesn't, nothing matters until they get the people into the bubble, get everybody sort of, in theory, de-virused, and then, right. <laughs> and then like what happens when it starts? Like MLS, they lost an entire team today. Um, the FC Dallas just backed out of that turn that that restart tournament that they're having. So, like, but baseball doesn't have that. Baseball doesn't have to get everyone into the bubble and de louse and you know de virus and all that kind of stuff. It's it's either going to kind of work or not. I just I, I, I there's a it's I feel pessimism around the baseball well, restart. Well, there's also two. I, I think one of the big differences between the NBA versus baseball and, you know, frankly, the NBA versus a lot of sports is the NBA, like whether you think they should be doing this or not, whether you think it will ultimately work or not, they're trying to work towards closure because yeah. they played three quarters of the season. So you can at least wrap your head around the idea of why you would do this, even if you don't necessarily think it's a good idea or necessary. All these other sports, but we're talking about baseball, they're looking to start the thing under these circumstances. And then when you take into account with baseball, they're going to be playing less than half of a normal season, starting at under these conditions. Barely more than a third. Right. With, with, you know, with owners (laughs) that made it pretty clear they, you know, they would have canceled the season if they could have gotten, or at least some of them would have just canceled the thing if they could have gotten away with it. And, you know, the thing's been so hostile from the beginning there, there's going to be an element of like, why are we doing this? That I think is going to be more magnified with just about every other sport that isn't the NBA or I, I guess maybe the NHL. Well, I mean, the NBA is just doing it so right compared to every other sport. I mean, everybody in the NBA is going to the bubble this week and then they're not playing until, you know, the end of July. Mm-hmm. So they're also they're going to have time to be in the bubble already. And so if they have tests, they can go through all that while they're already quarantine within the bubble like fc dallas they all just got there and now they're being and now they have to kick out because they're, they're in the bubble but they just didn't do it the right way and nba is doing it the right way now you have baseball that's not doing anything they're like play at your home stadiums let's go travel as much as we want to the dodgers at one point have to go play a two-game series in houston and then turn around and go right to to arizona when they still have to play texas later on in texas why God, not that's, just play all of them that, at the that, same time? That sounds like an, that's like the infection part of the tour. Like, where are we going? We're <laughs> right. going to Houston, and then we're going to go to uh, Arizona. We're going to Phoenix yeah! <laughs> after that. It's like, <laughs> right. wait, so we're like, can we not go to Florida? Is that not an option? How about a, a quick trip to Mississippi while we're at it? Like, where where else can we go to just rub ourselves in COVID? Like, <laughs> no, right. like, there's 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 a part of their schedule where they're going to have two games. Uh, in like San Francisco, in Seattle, come home for two games against somebody, and then go back for two games. Like, what? Are you, why are you going all over the place? This I feel like this. Season. I feel like this is a really good way to spread stuff around. Like nobody's getting, like p- people were talking about like you know there's gonna be no tolerance for like throwing at the Astros and fighting and all that kind of stuff and whatever. Who's gonna want to go within six feet of an Astro? They're based in Houston. You know, who's going to want to go near a Diamondback? <laughs> Not me. No, thank where it's you. A, where it's 130 degrees right now. So, God. I mean, like, <laughs> this just doesn't make any sense. When with, you start to say doing. it out loud. They screw up. Left yeah, and when right. you start to say it out loud, it really doesn't seem like a great idea. And how, I mean, just when, the, when you saw the, the little the schedule, idea. like when they sent it out, like you saw like the little, like, you know, things. And it was so tiny and, and like, Sad. It looked like my little league schedule. <laughs> it was just like... Right, but they they made it like a regular schedule where you're flying all over the place and going to all which, these different. Which cities. is just pointless. I mean, if you're going to be be chopping down the season by more than half, like at that point, ironically, considered what a lot of the players didn't like in the beginning, that's like perfect for a bubble. Like at this point, <laughs> if you're going to be cutting the whole thing down, why are you going to be bothering with traveling? Like why? Like. You have so few games to take care of. Knock them out in like one or two places. Uh, they like could, just they, they could easily no do it. Yeah, they could easily do it. They just don't want to because guys want to stay home and they want to stay in their home ballparks. And I mean, there's not going to be any fans anyway. I just 
I don't believe that any sport is going to work. And I don't want to be pessimistic about it because I want baseball back. But I can't imagine any sport working unless they're in a bubble. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, there, there's a reason that Dr. Fauci has liked the NBA's plan more than any others. I mean, it's the only one that he's expressed any confidence towards. Like, I was listening to uh, Howard Beck's podcast, The Full 48, Great um, last week and he yeah it is really great and he had a couple epidemiologists on there and they all they both stressed like look this thing is not foolproof in orlando there are definitely potential breaches there's a lot that needs to go right but they can at least understand realistically how it could go right like it, there there are ways that this really can work but you look at like baseball football like you don't need to be an epidemiologist to understand why that thing can just completely fall apart no, and the NBA can absolutely work. As We have to assume that these guys are not going to leave the bubble. We understand Jared Dudley talked about how guys are going to leave no matter what. Hopefully, if nobody leaves, and we probably will, I mean, uh, assume that people will, but if they don't, it will work. And you just have to... Well, hope the shaming happens. of people, like, it's not like you're not going to know if somebody was out. Like, you know, they, unless they did it, you know, let me... Re- the guys can do it if they're not really stupid about it. But, like, if they want to go out, like, you see them at a club or something, like, maybe 9,000 pictures of that person on, on the internet, right. you know, on Instagram before, you know, five minutes pass. And so, like, the, the sort of the shame, if you're on a good team and you break quarantine like that, it's going to be a really bad look. But actually, if you're on a bad team and you break quarantine, the shame's going to be there, too. It's like, man, you're messing up this whole thing for the rest of us, and you're going to be leaving in two days anyway, you know, middle fingers, man. Like, that, you, that's even worse. If it's like you're about to leave anyway and you can't skip a club, like, really? Yeah, no, I agree. Um, anyway. Greg. <laughs> Awkward pause. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something, Greg. When when you are, you know, you're you're about ready to – to, to call it a night after a long day of, of producing and, you know, and you, you're, you're, you're tired. You, all you want to do is just go to bed and we get it. One I thing that I helps, was ready. one thing that helps with that is a nightcap. I don't mean one of those old fashioned <laughs> old timey hats that people actually I used to one. wear. When they was, do you, you actually really? have a night? No, 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 I don't. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> Wait, do you? Or are you embarrassed to show it? I mean, yeah. Have I ever been embarrassed to show anything at, on this show? Yeah. Like okay. on, on the station? Like, I'd all right. So, okay, so you don't actually have a nightcap. Okay. No, no, it'd be nice. Uh, but that was that's, that's where the expression comes from. Um, it's an actual hat. When that happens, Greg, you want to get that nightcap at vsliquor.com. The easiest way to have alcohol delivered right to your door. And Greg, but not nightcaps. But not nightcaps. That's a that's a different that's a different. <laughs> don't deliver those. That's a different endorsement. We're actually still trying to track down. Um, <laughs> and were you to do one more thing before you went to bed and order from vsliquor.com right now, you could get fifteen percent off your first order by typing sports into that checkout thing at the end. I will do that as long as they sell some Lagavulin. I'm all about it. I bet I'm sure they, they do. do. Yeah, we need to send Julie a bottle. I feel something like, from vsliquor.com because I feel terrible for her. Is she her. a drinker? It's probably a definition. With, show. Is, yeah. <laughs> if you lived with Michael, would you be a drinker? You can answer your own question. Uh, among yeah. other things. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I pray they're still married after this thing. I really, I'm very feel, worried that we wrecked so the Tom's. They'll team. say like divorce, right. reason, Kevin. I feel like brothers. such a jerk. <laughs> Um, we should check the poll real quick before we let you go. Um, let's see here. Was the, the best, uh, is this the best show? Worst show? Go to the thing. Final results of the poll, at least for tonight. Was Michael's appearance on the best thing or the worst thing we've ever done on the late night happy hour? 63% say yes. 13.3% say worst. I'm sorry. 63% say, say best. Uh, 13.3% say worst and 23% say yes. I want to know who those 13 worst I want to know who those 13.3% were and take Twitter away I from them. I believe it was Julie Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> over just, and over again. Just, no. A a lot lot of, bot, bot, burner, no. Burner accounts. <laughs> I was going to say it's all of Julie's burners. <laughs> yeah. um, well, dude, you are a, 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 a as, as our Thank people you, would say, a mensch. 
for jumping on. Um, of course. It was fun. Um, you well, can come back especially again too after as a I, scheduled I don't know guest. If you saw or not. I, I was calling you out uh, for backing up Scott Kaplan today, but not jumping our rescue. So I appreciate you co- you coming in. Like we know you had to do your job with Scott, and it was great, and I enjoyed listening to it. But we've you know we've been working with you at least he's, lately longer. He's like, from we out feel of town, like you should right? be jump- exactly. Yeah. He's like the Chargers. I, I, I was in a in a weird spot where I didn't want to ruin what Michael Thompson was doing. Like it's it's put me in a very difficult position to be have to to follow. The oh yeah, no, don't. It's like you Michael just Thompson. don't touch it. Like, just don't right. don't touch it. Don't look at it. Just <laughs> let it let it do what it's doing. <laughs> it's like the it's like the robot vacuum. You just let it go. Oh, it's fine. We would have exactly. let, we let that, the human room. We oh, we'd have <laughs> let that thing go the entire show. Like it was up to Michael and Julie to cancel it. Like we were going to run with it for the the rest of the half hour or whatever. And I would have no watched problem. the entire thing very oh, happily. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I and I think it might have ended up one of our most well-rated shows. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. And I don't know what that means. Uh, but anyway, all right, Greg, thank you very much. We we appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, brother. We appreciate um, it. You are a, 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 a appreciate great, you guys. great person. It was fun. Um, and tomorrow night, we will be back with uh, John Gonzalez from The Ringer, who has... Who hopefully doesn't live in Orange County. Doesn't live in Orange County, and but also continues... All those guys at the ringer have great hair. So, um, yes. Maybe it's a requirement. I don't know if it's as good as Paolo's, but it's still outstanding. So, tomorrow night, John Gonzalez, uh, thanks to Michael Thompson, thanks to Greg Bergman, thanks to Julie Thompson, and thank you to VSLicker.com. We'll see everybody tomorrow.